As grateful as I have been for your company, Dr. Watson, I'm afraid you shall have to investigate Edelweiss alone. Alone? Mr. Holmes, I fear you overestimate my abilities. Nonsense. You are a military man, a bastion of British courage. I'm no such thing. As a doctor, I avoided most combat, save for one dreadful day. My troop was ambushed in a village with innocents caught in the crossfire. Too many to help. The man with the rosary. He was one of them? A translator, yes. We were trapped. Six soldiers and myself. I thought it was the end. But Lieutenant Paget refused to go quietly. The men prepared for a final stand. I rose to follow, but Paget shook his head. He told me to run. That I had other men to save. They charged, and I fled through the rear. So you see, Mr. Holmes, I am a coward. The logic seems inescapable. Yes. You, a surgeon by trade, would have been perfectly useless in that conflict. What? No. And how many men have you helped since? Ailments eased, troubles tended? No more than a handful. Truth be told, I have become somewhat of a recluse. How many people could you help with 30 years ahead of you? Dozens? Hundreds? Hatchet was correct. You can cease your self-recrimination. Holmes, I... I don't know what to say. I would start with, I am Dr. John Watson, may I look around? The Edelweiss staff will doubtless be eager to show off their facility to a fellow physician. I have already taken the liberty of sending a letter on your behalf to request a visit. And what of you? I shall be pursuing other avenues. Should you see anything troublesome or improper, simply notify the local authorities. Otherwise, try a little analysis yourself. You know my methods. Apply them. I cannot wait to see her. My daughter receives the finest treatment money can buy. I told my wife this asylum is the best place for the deranged and insane, and I was right. No visitors are allowed through here. Professor's orders. Salutations, madam. I am Dr. John Watson. I was wondering if you've got word of my visit. Yeah, Dr. Watson. We received your letter on the matter. Would it be to see Professor Gygax? The asylum's facilities, actually. I've heard great things about the work you do here. Permission to go anywhere would have to come from Professor Gygax. Wait here, bitte. Mr. and Mrs. Bronson, your girl has made remarkable progress. See? Take a look for yourself. 
My apologies for keeping you waiting, Dr. Watson. Surely you understand how medical work can make one lose track of time. Do not be sorry, Professor. I too know the importance of closely attending to patients. The work hardly stops here, yet the satisfaction of perfecting the mind compels us to persevere. I take it you welcome many a soul into your establishment? Admissions, yes. Visitors, though? I am curious as to what brought you to the Schwarzes Edelweiss. Word of mouth. An article I read back in London spoke highly of your institution. But rather than taking its word for it, I thought I would see things for myself. My asylum's reputation proceeds it then. Everyone, your attention, please. Guten day. Yes, hi. Hello. The name's Amos Colby, Northwood Detective Agency, Boston. I got questions that need answers. Who's in charge here? What seems to be the matter, Dr. Watson? You can tell me. By Jove, it, it cannot be him. That man, well, the, the real Amos Colby lies six feet under in London. No, 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 no. In my line of work, it can't wait. The longer it if you to wish to, to the recuperate, truth, Dr. The Watson, you may avail yourself of the guest room. But I have so much more to discuss. Nurse, if you'd be so kind as to escort Dr. Watson to the guest room. Herr Colby, from Northwood Agency. How unexpected. I am Professor Gygax. I would be happy to answer your questions in the examination room. Look, Professor, unless you got any clues as to the whereabouts of... Ah! 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 There is no need to be angry. No one gets angry. Now, now, let's not resort to brute force. Do not worry, Herr Colby. My methods are rather more delicate. <laughs> Search him thoroughly. Then take him to the holding chamber. To decide precisely what to do with our guest. Unmistakable scent of alcoholism. Did you walk through their doors as I did, or did they collect you off the streets? Truncheon, not the typical tool for a nurse.
very sturdy. I might borrow it. The final product, ready to cure madness, or to push one deeper into its grasp. Any chemist would envy the quality of this equipment. Raw materials used to formulate medicine. With this equipment, they can create any type of medication. What was that? Is someone there? I'm sure I heard something. You there! I command you to free me at once! I'm not sure that's a great idea at the moment. How dare you deny me? I must have my revenge against the Lickspittles upstairs! Fortunately for you, I'm here to stop the very same people. You are? Indeed. But first, I must discover all I can about this institution. Tell me, have you witnessed the arrival of any foreign patients? Tell me? The goal? The impertinence to bark such orders? Please, we don't have time for this. Do you know with whom you speak? I am the great Napoleon! Napoleon Bonaparte? The one and only. Emperor of the French, first consul of the Republic, leader of La Grande Armée. Once I am free and have exacted my revenge against the guards who ridicule me, I shall rest happy in the arms of my beloved Josephine. Right. Well, I will leave you to your scheming, Emperor. I command you to let me out! by Cupid. I disdain all glittering gold. There is nothing can console me but my jolly sailor bold. A simple toolbox, yet capable of repairing anything. A certificate of appreciation from the Municipal Councillor to Professor Becker for contributions to the development of medicine in Interlaken. Tubes of varying diameters. Interesting.
Looks like it's still operational. This photo was damaged seemingly by oil. I can make out the names listed here. Cooking grease. Is this the kitchen dumbwaiter? A painting in a mental institution. Hogel would be delighted. John Sallow, the Tulpa phenomenon. I'm somewhat of an expert already. R.G. Hill, Dr. Connolly, it appears that all the psychiatric classics were banished here. Speech and the Cerebellum by S.A. Becker. My comrades in Paris shall hear about this! Who's there? Show yourself! Hey, what are you doing? Comrades in Paris shall hear about this! Don't you look down on me. Open the door. They haven't yet made a bullet that can hit me. A truncheon, not the typical tool for a nurse. Unmistakable scent of alcoholism. Did you walk through their doors as I did, or did they collect you off the streets? I'd rather not sit in this chair ever again. This sedative worked faster than I expected. Perhaps I ought to train myself, build up a tolerance.
There's the guest room. I wonder if Watson was able to speak to Gygax. Darn. No way I can get past him without being noticed. Locked. I suppose the reception will be guarded anyway. should suffice.